you know, like while I was waiting. <laughs> so it was like, I was like, yes, that's exactly it. I, I, you know, it's so wild how I, that is also someone this morning on OnlyFans asked me the same question. And I'm like, just because I've had like, like I definitely get why it's better for porn. Cause you know, like absolutely. put half the dick in, it's nice to be able to see the other half out still. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. And and also like as a woman with a really big ass, smaller dicks just don't you just can't see anything on yeah. like in porn. Yeah. Like you yeah. you yeah, <laughs> they get swallowed up. So. It's true. <laughs> um, okay, so shall we without further ado Yeah, let's do it while we while while if everything is working properly. <laughs> okay, cool. Um all right. So uh, let's start with this very COVID friendly uh, question. Yeah. Uh, this question comes from someone in a long distance relationship, they say, um, mm. but it applies to anyone. Uh, do you have any tips on spicing up video sex? So that's Zoom, mm. um, Skype, FaceTime, whatever you're using. Are there ways to spice up video sex? I think. I personally, I'm a huge fan of video sex. I love me too. Love it, especially because I love, like, I love watching dudes jerk off. Like that mm -hmm. is my go-to porn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whether no matter what kind of relationship I'm in, no matter what kind of sex I'm having, yeah, when I masturbate, yeah. Um, so for me, like, that doesn't get old. <laughs> I don't need much spicing up in that department just because like that's for years like I have not gotten sick of like watching people jerk off yeah um, that being said obviously I think like that's not always enough for everyone or maybe like you know just like any type of sex you kind of get mm -hmm. it you're doing the same three motions over and yeah. over and um do you have any tips on like how to like keep that spicy like whether it's maybe bringing in toys or yeah I I really like I'm very canisexual so I like to like smoke with my partners and so that we can like we can like roll up together and smoke and have a glass of wine and, and like really and like decompress from the day and then and then move into the good stuff because I feel like going straight for me at least going straight to the goods is very much like work. And so I want to be able to like enjoy my partner, you know? And so, but I do, I bring in toys all the time. And actually I have a new toy. I have two new toys. Um, well, I can't show you the other one cause it's still in my, my work bag from last night, but I have this new toy that I'm um, called this. It's a, it's the satisfier, but for men, it's a vibrating ring. It's a vibrating cock ring. And it has an app so that you can control your partners, your like partner. Yeah. And there's another there's one for women also that has it's um, it's a vibrator and it has the suction on the bottom and it also has an app. And so I love this. I'm actually really looking forward to giving this one to one of my partners and then giving the code for or the app for the other one to one of my other partners so that we can like I can play with both of them separately and differently but I'm really excited about this so <laughs> seeing a lot of toys like that lately where it's like whether it's a stroker um like hero yes. makes one, a stroker like that um yeah actually has one with hero I think it's called the blue bot that you can like control from far away it goes through yeah there's something um, I don't even know yeah. um but yeah so there's a lot of toys now like that cock ring from satisfier and like there's you know like you said ones for women mm -hmm. that's a super hot thing when you can control someone's someone's orgasms and the thing about it and I was but interestingly enough like I was just reading an article like a couple of days ago about how there there are some of these toys that you have to be very careful with because they you they can be hacked and so like it's really highly recommended that when you set up the toy that you change the name of it from vibrator to like something else so that 
people are not able to pick it up and hack your toy. <laughs> so. Totally boring. Totally. Oh. Yeah. FBI surveillance van. <laughs> right. <laughs> so. That's so funny. Oh my God. I, that's, I mean, that's horrible, but it's also horrible, but hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. I've seen that. I've seen stories about that happening with cock rings that are like app control. I mean, not cock rings, um, with, um, oh. cages. The, yes. The, yes. With the cages being like hacked and then you can't get out of it. So it's like. Oh, that too. It's like not a chastity belt, but like. The chastity a devices. They're like, they're like yeah. cages for cocks. Yeah. And basically. Yes, what, people can hack toys, you guys. <laughs> it's like, think of it as like a cage for your cock so that it cannot yeah. get hard, right? Like it prevents. Right. You <laughs> or when it gets hard, it gives you more pressure onto it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. That would be, that's like the new, that's the 2021 version of going to the hospital because there's a gerbil in your asshole. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so definitely like bring toys into the bedroom. There are yes, so many like, sex specific toys now. Also, yeah. I would, I don't know, for me, like foreplay is a huge, huge thing. And I think yeah. like, I, a lot of times is like kind of like you said like you like to smoke with your partner and like have a yeah. glass of wine and really get into it I think like it can even go before that and like to me it's hot when I'm in like any kind of long distance thing or I'm traveling I love when like a partner will text me all day long and being like yeah I see you tonight I can't like I'm imagining you yeah. like to me like foreplay can last all day long and all then day long yeah, I like sending pictures too. Like I love to send my partners pictures. I love sending them dirty pictures. I love sending them dirty videos. Um, I actually, um, I have mo most of my partners, I have, there's a couple, two people I'm regularly seeing and then I have other people that I casually like see whenever, but I love to send them photos that I'm taking for my OnlyFans before they go to OnlyFans like I or sending it to them before I post it to IG like I it's like oh look at these pictures like I want to show you what I've been taking pictures of and, and, and yeah and also for me because um like I'm not that good of an actress like at all so like I have to be into it so often a lot of the pictures that I post like my self-shot content is actually stuff that I've shot for my partners and so it's like I'm shooting it for them and then everybody else gets to benefit and see it too <laughs> so Killing two birds with one stone, really. I'm killing two birds with one stone, yeah. <laughs> so lots of toys, lots of dirty pictures. Those are, for me, that's a lot That's a lot of fun. It's great that you brought up dirty pictures and dirty videos because that yeah. right into our next question. Yay. Um, so the next question is, my girlfriend keeps sharing my news with her friends. She says this is completely normal for her and her friend group. I don't want her to. What do I do? And you know what? I yeah. had to myself after reading this question because at first I read it, you know, because we grew up in a heteronormative society, blah, blah, blah. I read it for, coming from a dude. And I'm like, yeah, we all do that. Like, I do that. And when I got with my husband, actually, I remember showing his dick pic to everyone. And he was, like, very upset because he's not in porn. And, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I was kind of like whatever what's the big deal and then I was like wait a second what if this question is coming from a woman and then I was like whoa that's fucked up like yeah but like it's fucked up either way right like, yeah yeah like I so in that way I'm like oh shit like I really you know like that's fucked up that I thought that yeah um, I mean like definitely definitely this is on your girlfriend to realize that that is not an okay thing to do. That's like a yeah. million crossed. I've done it. Mm -hmm. I recognize that it was wrong. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But like, I guess the question is though, like how do I get her to take me seriously and not oh. show my news, even though this is like the norm for her? Yeah, I mean, I think that it's, you know, having conversations surrounding consent and, and not just about sharing your nudes with other people, but about sending your nudes to people like this, you know, I've, cause I've, I've been seeing someone for about seven months 
And I actually, you know, and we met during quarantine, obviously, like we, we met on a dating app. And I actually asked him, he's the first person I've ever asked before sending him nudes. <laughs> like, <laughs> because I wasn't thinking about it. But then I realized I'm like, well, we don't like unsolicited dick pics. So why would I just send unsolicited pussy pics to somebody or unsolicited nudes to somebody just because I'm, you know, just because we're seeing each other. And it made me like, really check my my privilege as a woman and like realizing that that's that's not okay like i if i wouldn't want some guy doing it to me without asking like why am i doing it to somebody else you know and so i think that like fr i think that framing it from you know from an angle of consent it's like you know and even asking like hey so you know would would you be okay if i showed your nudes to someone, you know, to my friends, and then, you know, and then opening the conversation that way, um, because maybe she wouldn't mind, like, maybe that's, maybe that's okay for her. Um, but, but then explaining that this is, this is about consent for him, and that maybe if he, at, if she asked first, then maybe he'd be okay with it, you know, and I think we, I think it's, it's just hard for a lot of women, because women do share dick pics, with each other, you know, I mean, especially now with Twitter, and like how much Twitter has in the past been very okay about explicit content. I mean, my girlfriends and I we share like video, you know, we share photos and videos with each other all the time, but it's professional content that we're sharing. But and so now it's like, okay, we need to. But when it comes down to your personal private, you know, relationships, it's like, what's more important? Is it the your person, your that person's feelings is it your your partner your relationship or is it the you know the 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 way that your friends you know feel about you know i don't know i don't know what i'm saying like yeah, yeah. the entertainment value for your friends yeah exactly and so i think that like framing it in you know in terms of consent and like and also like what how would you feel if i shared your you know your nudes with my friends um and and doing it that way that that's really important Totally, totally. And like,